Well, so how many awards do you think you won? Mm, um, uh, do you know exactly? I mean, well, well, I have um, twenty six avians. Um, twenty six. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 see, I remember. Um, what people take for granted is I won as a director as well. Uh -huh. So like half of my AVNs are performers, but the other half are, well, okay, so, so three of them are male performers, one of them's Hall of Fame. So out of 26, remove those, that's 22. So out of 22 remaining AVNs, half are performer, maybe two thirds are performer, and the other third are director. So I got both sides of, of the camera. Like you know best saying? sex scene awards. Yeah, yeah. Like, like best Gonzo movie, uh -huh. right? Um, best series, you know what I'm saying? Um, stuff like that. that best good. POV series, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. But that's really good. You know yeah, I mean? that's yeah. Really, congratulations. Thank you. Now, yeah. Those are the most coveted awards you would think, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It matters who you respect the most. And let yeah. me ask you that question. How do you feel about those organizations? Let's start with the three now that are, <clears throat> I guess, more important that I know about besides Venus, mm -hmm. right? Venus called me up in 98 when they first were made. They yeah. said, come out. I said, I'll come. They didn't have the right. I said, make sure it's business class. They gave me a coach. Mm. They're going to give me an award for going. Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> I said, I got it on myself, you know? Yeah. TT boy. Yeah. If people don't know, I'm a little crazy and pretty um, direct and straightforward and high strung. If yeah. I say something, I'm going to do it. They said they're going to do it. They didn't do it. I said, fuck you. Yeah. Right, anyway, but besides Venus, XRCO, yeah. AVN, and I guess now XBIS. Yeah. Those are the three main ones. Yeah. I guess there's a night move in Florida or something. Yeah. I mean, you know. But kind of. But the main ones, AVN, XBIS, XRCO, mm -hmm. Exotica. Exotic. And, v and then, then the big daddy is Venus, or used to be Venus is, but so those are the five big ones, yeah. So how do you feel about the way they judge? And of course now, we don't want to forget, but you know, Urban X, but they don't really, yeah. they don't count in this because they are different. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that Avian is more, let's say, political. It's like the, it's like our mainest of the mainstream, although uh, Urban X, you know, no, no, Urban no, X is coming. Urban yeah, X. it's getting no, better no. because no, it, no, that's not yeah. what I'm saying. I'm saying is politically possibly incorrect, mm -hmm. which I'm not saying Urban X is part of that. Yeah. But let's say Urban X is just the same as ABN. Mm -hmm. But I think that some of these are more politically incorrect and blind sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying Urban X is part of that. I'm saying no. these three, possibly, you know, and so I'm asking your opinion on that. Well, well I think um, Avian and, and Expiz as our leading publications and our main conventions have to toe a party line for the, you know, for a lot of reasons. And so um, there's a lot of reasons that will go into why certain companies win every time, why certain toy companies are featured, and what have you. Now, um, you know, there's new ownership with AVN, um, you know, as of late, as of the last, say, within the last 10 years or so. Um, XBiz has gotten more, they've always been a business-oriented show, but now it's coming more, becoming more a performer-oriented show. So it is... They serve different purposes. Um, uh, I've always felt that ethnic performers, um, black and Latino performers, um, have gotten a lot less, you know, attention and adoration and, and wins. Um, and I think that while I count myself as like the 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 one black person that has accumulated. A, a lot of these individually, um, I think that there's been probably more people that have been ignored than should have been. Um, and, 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 and I feel that just because I've won so much um, doesn't mean that, that they've done well in consideration of ethnic performers. See what I'm saying? If you're only going to give it to one person, um, that doesn't mean that, that you are acknowledging 
the whole industry in a way that it should be. Because not for nothing, but I really believe that um, that a Prince Joshua should have perhaps gotten the nod for male performer of the year at least once in his career. Coming back from what he came back from and then returning to the top of being one of the top guys is incredible. You know, you know, you know what happened to the prince, right? I already broke his dick or something. Yeah, there was a girl that literally snapped his dick in half, crashing down in a reverse cowgirl, and for him to come back from that and sit and be regarded as one of the top guys is incredible. You know what I'm saying? Um, wh- how the hell is it that um, Shawn Michaels um, didn't get a male performer of the year award in his tenure? Uh, uh, Thirty years. Yeah, because if you got to figure, if I trace my lineage back to 98 and Sean was around well before I was. Sean's from 1988. There it is there, you know. <laughs> you know um, and I work with Sean side by side. Doesn't make sense that he didn't get that award. Yeah. Let me give you another example who didn't get the award. Guess who didn't get the award? Yeah. Peter North. Never? Never. I wonder why is that? Um, I mean, do you know how many movies he did? A lot, right? He's a great performer. Special, obviously a special yeah. guy. Uh, he's a human X-Man. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, you know, a real X-Man. Like, why, why, why? That's, inter- you know, and, and damn. <laughs> right? But, you know. But you know, I, I, it's because he has a good tan. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but 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 I mean, it's crazy because maybe there's something personal that 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 some maybe there's something that I, that we don't know about. I don't know. But how does P- right. I would have assumed that he would have won multiple times. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, nor Mark Davis. Really? Really? Man, that's great. I mean, like, you know, I didn't, I mean, you know, I didn't really get to know Pete until um, after he had already stopped performing. I was where I worked for him as he was a director and, and I was in one of his movies. Mark Davis, I learned, he taught me a lot. You know, because of the anabolic, I mean, like, you know, back in the day, like, those were the main dudes and I came under. You know, I was like, a, you know, I came as a rookie on their squad, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why, like, with Sean, Davis, Voyer, all them dudes are the guys from my generation that, that taught me. And Davis never won. Mm-hmm. Davis is, you know, he was, he was the best in that um, he connected with the chicks. I mean, the chicks liked him, but but it was also he was very good at you know, what he would say to the chick to get him, you know, in, in the... Mm-hmm. So, yeah. He's a good, yeah. He's a great performer. Yeah, and one thing, I, you know, that, that Davis had and that, that that Rocco had that I always tried to, to learn was, and I never learned, I never got there, but the ability to get girls to do what other directors couldn't get them to do. Like, you know, like, as a director, have you ever seen a girl where you see her for someone else and you're like, word? She did that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, like, I, I've heard it all. Yeah, and it was like... <laughs> Seen it all. Yeah, I would see a Rocco movie, and I'd be like, wait a minute, I shot that girl, and she did that? Uh, Davis was like that, where I would see it, you know, where um, a girl, he could get a girl to, to, you know, whether we were all, like, blowing her ass out, but she would gape when he told her to gape. But for everybody else, she could maybe open it up a little bit, but he would, and her asshole would open up like a fucking, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, you know, yeah, those were two dudes that, and Pumper was like that also. Um, Brian Pumper. Was but get girls to. Well, well, Brian was skillful in that he can get girls to do it. They love him. Yeah. 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 He can get girls to do it. Pretty girls. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking fine girls. And it'll be the <laughs> only scene that they would ever shoot and never see him again. He's amazing. Yeah. Kind of, right? In yeah. That, in that aspect. That, really. was, that was his, amazing. that was his superpower, yeah. you know. Yeah, he really has that, he has, he has the look and the speech that yeah. the girls love to hear. Yeah. So, internationally, you've traveled, yeah. right? 
Can yeah. you run down fairly quickly where you've been on location and which oh, place yeah. did you like the most? Oh yeah, so, <clears throat> okay, so Montreal, Toronto, um, uh, uh, let me see, um, Panama, Brazil, um, Costa Rica, Mexico, um, that's this hemisphere, now going over to Europe, um, England, um, uh, uh, Budapest, Prague, um, Berlin, Frankfurt, um, Munich, um, Paris, um, Monte Carlo, Cannes, um, Zurich, uh, uh, Barcelona, Madrid, um, Jamaica, um, and then lastly, Tokyo. So that's 20, 20 countries that I performed in. You performed in all those? Yep. That is incredible. Yeah. You're a full-fledged yeah. porno star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. the, the people got to understand, right? Yeah. That's why, like, Nat Turner was saying you're taking the X's off them because they think yeah. they're porno stars. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I mean, you were yeah. fully internationally culture-traveled yeah. porno star. To do this, yeah. Soiled, experienced, war, war-torn war and, and war experience, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. a war zone sometimes. Yeah, it is. Right? So that is incredible. Yeah, yeah. I never, you know, I never thought about that. Oh, and the best um, of it all, I would say, um, was in Khan. Was Khan. Yeah. Because yeah. when I went, it was during the film festival. And in Europe, um, and we talked about the stardom of, of, of Nacho, how it is in Europe for him, like how he's like a mainstream star Spain. in Toronto, Spain. Spain, right? Well, at the Cannes Film Festival, what people realize is in Europe, adult media is is, is not. I don't know if acceptable is the right way to put it, but it's not more acceptable. More acceptable. It's not like the stepchild. With it's like movies include this type of movie, and this type of movie is the ones where they fuck for real, but they see it just as movies. So being over there and like um, not not feeling stigmatized for being triple X. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, they show tits on normal TV all day long. Yeah. Naked yeah. people. Yeah. So and the camera follows, will go from Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sharon Stone, to, you know, uh, Tara Patrick or Jenna Jameson, and then back to Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. 